Good morning, welcome back to the Breakfast Club Basel, our space, our place in the morning to grow, to thrive, to connect, to share and exchange ideas on how to make it through the day, through the week, through the months, in these weird times we are in right now, and hopefully also beyond that, to build up perspectives on what will happen afterwards, to find trust in ourselves, to find trust in the, solu in the situation, and look positively, optimistically into our future. And today, on Friday, I wanted to talk to you about dreaming or imagining a different world. And I reread something from Viktor Frankl yesterday that I thought is inspiring to share with you today. Viktor Frankl is a Holocaust survivor. He was a psychoanalyst and later also a speech therapist in the US after the Second World War. And he is also a concentration camp survivor. And what he wrote about his time in the concentration camp, I thought could also be useful for us as a tool to find ways to make it through the time and also share and exchange good energy with others. And what he writes about is that, of course, imagine concentration camp, they had almost nothing to eat and they had to work and it was a very devastating situation. We probably can't imagine what it must have felt like to be in that kind of situation. But he used that to sit down with his friends, even though they must have been just nibbling on an old piece of bread and had some water. Um, to imagine that they were sitting at this banquet with tablecloths and different plates and cutlery and wine and more wine and flowers and food and desserts and cheese and bread and everything. And they had this whole great grand feast and we're imagining that and we're sharing that together as a group. And that really helped them to get through that because in their heart, in their mind, in their imagination, they were not someone who was nibbling on a piece of bread, being super devastated about their current situation. In their minds, they were someone who had feast, who was had living a rich life, who had friends, who lived in prosperity, who had honor and dignity. And I think that could be helpful for us now, where we also can't um, visit each other, we don't know what's going on, we feel like we are in a devastated economic situation maybe, or we are really scared uh, health-wise, or we are scared about the political developments. So I want you to also use your imagination and your mind to not focus only on those problems that we are in right now, but also use your mind to focus on things that make you feel well, things you want to have in your life, things you um, used to love or things you want to do in future and make this grow and make this your own reality. So dream big today, imagine yourself doing all the things you want to do, share them with others, eat the things you want to do, travel to places you want to go, live that out in your imaginations to not kind of make yourself small and stop that and only focus on the problems we have right now, but also accept yourself as this truly big being that you are. Okay, thank you so much for listening today and have fun with the task and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.